hoped never to see you again. What's up, dog? We're back. We Ladies, nobody gave a shit about the Jump Street reboot, but you got lucky. So now this department has invested a lot of money to make sure Jump Street keeps going. The only problem is the Koreans bought the church back, so we're moving you across the road to 22 Jump Street. You two sons of bitches are going to college. Fuck yeah. What? Call that bathrooms. Fuck. I'm not gonna take a shit the entire time we're here. We'll go around to classes and activities, ask around about the drug, find out who the dealer is. Do we look older or does everyone in college look like babies? Shh. Some of us are trying to study, so can you take it down to a level of shut up? Is this the level you're looking for? Shut the fuck up. You look really old, too. You no. look old as shit to be here. Why boy wasted? Partners for life. Why boy wasted? It's just drinking games and bonding. Why is that so painful for you? No. You cannot hug me right now. Drunk stagger, drunk swagger. I don't rap, I it don't matter. We Jump Street, and we're about to jump in your ass. Mm -hmm. Right in the crack. Quiet boy wasted. We need an expert to consult. Oh! Listen, Mr. Walters, I should apologize for shooting my penis off. But don't sweat it. They gave me a vagina. Hey, guess what? I'm Eric's bitch. Uh, no, you're not. Yes, I am! You own this ass! Hey, it's a good thing I waited to review this trailer, because last night I went to the press screening for Anchorman 2, and I ended up getting there a little early, and for some reason, I think it's because the employees at the theater wanted to see it, but they ran the trailer for 22 Jump Street that goes in front of Anchorman 2, and they swapped out a joke. The co-ed bathroom joke that you see here is cut, and in its place is a Chris Brown Rihanna joke which is hilarious, funnier than anything else in the entire trailer. So I really question as to why it's not in this online version. And it didn't seem particularly R-rated, so I don't know why it could have been included. But the fact that that's the funniest joke makes me a little nervous for this movie. Now, of course, I love the first 21 Jump Street, and I'm a big fan of Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill. But honestly, they, I think they've disappointed at least me this year, uh, and I think a number of people, Channing Tatum with White House Down, and then uh, Jonah Hill, I feel uh, Wolf of Wall Street is a disappointment. My, my review will go up tomorrow. My Anchorman 2 review, by the way, will go up at midnight, uh, It's because it's embargoed. Uh, and not everybody listens to the embargoes, but I like to try and maintain a good relationship with the PR department, so I will be waiting until midnight, because that's what I agreed to. Uh, but anyway, with this 20, oh, 22 Jump Street trailer, I think the purpose of this really is just to get across why it's called 22 Jump Street, which is pretty clever, and to just let you know this movie's coming. At least I hope that's the case. But this trailer didn't blow me away, I didn't think it was full of laughs, but at the same time, it's a little like the Interstellar trailer yesterday uh, from Christopher Nolan that I reviewed. Uh, of course you're going to go see it. You're, who's not going to go see the Christopher Nolan movie? I mean, the majority of people will. And I think the majority of people will go see 22 Jump Street no matter what the trailer looks like. So let's just hope that they're saving all... Wouldn't that be refreshing? All the good jokes are in the movie. Uh, it's a risky move for publicity, but let's hope that's the case. But what did you guys think? Were you as underwhelmed with this trailer as I am? Uh, do you need to be sold on 22 Jump Street? And if you've seen the version that's in theaters, do you agree with me that that Chris Brown Rihanna joke is the best joke in the trailer uh, and should have been included here? Uh, and maybe also, what do you think of Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum? Are you still as in love with them as you were in 2012? Or do you think 2013 has been a bad year for them as I do? Uh, write your thoughts down below. Thank you for asking for my uh, trailer review. And you can check out some more episodes right now.